In this video, we will look at the extended generate command in Stata. The egen command is a more powerful version of the generate command, making some complicated jobs easier to accomplish. We type help egen and see the syntax of the command. The egen command is used with functions. A list of functions is given below. Let me show you some examples. We will use a new dataset by typing use and the website of the dataset. This dataset comes from Jeffrey Woodridge Introductory Echolometrics, a modern approach. We find that the average birth weight is around 7.4 pounds. If we want to create a standard deviation of the birth weight as a variable, then the fastest way is to use egen's SD function. We type egen, the new variable, equals SD birth weight. We have a new variable with the standard deviation as its values for all the observations. We can confirm that using the summarize command. Next, let me show you the row mean function and the row max function. We have fathers, years of schooling, and the mothers, years of schooling, in the data set. We want to generate a new variable, parents' education, that indicates the parents' education level. We can calculate the average of the father's education and the mother's education by using the row mean function. We type egen parents' education is equal to the function row mean and a list of variables, the father's education and the mother's education in this case. Now, let's browse the data so that we can compare the variables. We see that the parents' education is really the mean over the mother's and the father's years of schooling. If the father has 16 years of schooling and the mother has 14 years of schooling, the parents' average schooling is 15 years. Sometimes we want to use the highest education of either parent to present the parents' education level. Then we can use the row max function. If the father has 16 years of schooling and the mother has 14 years of schooling. The parents' education level is 16 years. Finally, let me show you how to create deciles or quintiles using the cut function. Suppose we want to create the deciles for birth weights. That is, we create 10 categories in order with equal frequency. We type egen, the new variable's name, is equal to cut and put the birth weight variable in the parenthesis. Then we use the option group. We ask data to cut the observations into 10 groups. Let's execute it and tabulate the new variable. We now have approximately 10 equally spaced categories. We can still create the deciles without the egen command, but it takes more steps. Here I show you another way to generate a decile for the birth weights using the generate and replace commands.